Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll look on new feature add on Terragen 4, Depth of Field. Um, best way, if you want to know more about what depth of field, I will recommend just go to Wikipedia, search for depth of field, and you can see definition. In short ways, it is um, simulating our vision where we can focus on one specific part, and other one parts can be out of focus or in focus. Okay, also, this is a better way to present with the macros. So, for example, if you have a small element, your area of the focus will be much smaller than if you focus on far away distance. This is also related with the parallax and other effect. By the way, if you see the some tilt and shift when all real world look more like a miniature, it's because they're using this depth of field very shallow that kind of uh, making deception in our eyes to think that is a smaller items. So inside the Terragen 4 we have several properties we need set to enable depth of field. One of them will be in the render settings and you can see right here under quality we have a depth of field where we can enable and we have options to have it just 3D depth of field or 3D with noise reduction. Um, problem is with some uh, blurring when applied, you may have it seen some grains. And if you want to have it much smoother, you want to apply with noise reductions. Again, the, with quality, you will suffer with um, time. So it is better, but take a little bit longer than otherwise. So this is one way you want to enable. Now, to define the settings, you need to go inside the camera render for your cameras. And you'll notice right here we have it also focal length in millimeters, what was before. Um, the other ones will be important film aperture in uh, millimeters. Okay, and we'll also go inside the blur. So let's look closer. Focal length in millimeter. This is defined the lens, how much it is uh, closer or not. So for example, wide angle. We can go 18 and you can see right here how it's wide open. We can see more of the field of view in this case, but with um, withdraw, if you try to achieve some blurness, the wide angle will provide very um, depth field of uh, very large depth of field. So more objects will be in focus. And if you have it higher, for example, 200 millimeters, that will be more shallow depth of field, so you will have it more blurs in a smaller area, but its area much smaller of the view. Um, this is, however, 200 millimeters. It's a um, very nice choice of the lens if you do live photography for the portraits because it provides very shallow depth of field. And in some cases, if you want to simulate a real life render inside the turgeon, you kind of want to maybe learn more about what focal lengths of the does and which one is better work. Overall, our eyes it's 50 to 55, so this is very safe area. But movies um, and prime lens, it will use about 35 millimeters. So for this reason, we'll just leave it as 35. The next, the film aperture millimeters. This is sensor size, and normally it is will be 35 millimeters. Um, the sensor, so it is kind of like a film. You also can have it 16 millimeters um, and a lot of many more other ones sensor. So you can actually same pull out and see all the size you can put it in. But here's things the larger sensor, the shallow depth of the field will be as well. So it's meaning more areas will be in blur and sharper area will be very narrow. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll set focal lens maybe to 55. Remember, the higher number on the lens, the shallow depth of field, and I want to just look on some more of the blur in this. So next, we're going to blur top, and you notice right here we have a depth of field settings, where we have a focus distance. Focus distance is which dot or area will be sharp, and from this point, we'll be calculating back and forward how much it will be going inside the blur. So right here we have a top view with our camera and you can find many ways the distance between camera by moving around and just looking at X and Y or easier way if you want to just click enable measuring mode and we'll go from camera oops right here let's go to enable mode and we'll go maybe from here and drag 
maybe around this area so i want going in it's about 71 meters so all i'm going to do let's go put a 71 meters right here okay and aperture and diameter it is how wide open our aperture so the wider is open the shallow depth of field the smaller it's meaning the more in focus. So notice right here it's disappeared, so it will be a lot of in focus. As we're moving F, so it's focusing, it will be 55. Again, we want to have it as wide as possible. So F0.6, that will provide quite a bit wide open and it will provide also very um, shallow depth of field. Okay, at this point, we're ready to render and see what's happened. The one thing when we render, um, for the detergent, it doesn't really matter. It's always will render sharp and I will apply filters as it's going with post-processing. So we can go see this as well. Then um, first when it's first uh, passed with the buckets and after as it's processing, it will also start applying the filters. so we can preview this in line. Okay, so right here, let's start rendering. And you can see we have the first path. And I'm going to pause this tutorial and wait till render is completed so we can see the some of this effects. Okay, so right here, our render is done. And you can see, okay, let's bring a bit right here. So we have it kind of blur out of focus on a close elements and also on the far away. And we have it around this area where I set um, our point the focal um, distance. So it is right here in the sharp. And you notice as we're going, it's not necessarily going instantly from this point. It's going sharper and a little bit less, more blur, blur, and quite a bit blur closer to the cameras. Same going to the far away distance. It does not equally apply it because it's actually using specific formula how vision work. But overall, if you have a close up object, the blur distance will change quite a bit faster, very shallow depth of field. And as you're going to the distance, um, depth of field shall will apply, but as not the dramatic as before. There also, if you prefer to use the sum of this um, 2D um, depth in your uh, maybe After Effects or other ones, so you always can go inside your render, go to the layers, and you can just assign or create new layer Okay, render a layer so right here let's go open properties and you can go in the render elements and just create also, also surface depth and all additional properties if you need to use it in a post-processing but overall inside the detergent you can also it's uh, when you render it's render quite a bit nicely and provide depth of field Okay, so thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. And please remember, visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com.